Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. The Walt Disney World Resort in Florida is known for its classic rides and attractions, from slow-moving dark rides to high-speed thrills. You can speed through Los Angeles in a super stretch limo while you twist and turn in the Himalayas, scream till you drop in an abandoned hotel, then cool off with a splash or two. There's a thrilling adventure waiting for everyone at the four Walt Disney World theme parks and two water parks. But have you ever wondered which Disney rides are actually the fastest? Well, here is your updated guide. So be sure to keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside, because today, in order of speed, we'll be counting down the top 10 fastest rides at Walt Disney World. Number 10. As you approach Magic Kingdom, you can't help but notice the spire on top of the white futuristic show building that houses Space Mountain. Situated in the back of Tomorrowland, this indoor dual-track steel roller coaster opened on January 15, 1975. It was the original Space Mountain in any Disney theme park, and it's the oldest operating steel roller coaster in the state of Florida. Now, the show building is home to two almost identical tracks, Alpha and Omega, both offering a very similar experience, with Omega having 10 extra feet of track. Once you're seated in your rocket and leave the loading station, you travel up a series of lift hills and lighted tunnels before you're faced with this iconic roller coaster in the dark. Reaching top speeds of up to only 28 miles or 45 kilometers per hour, it's an exhilarating 2 minutes and 30 seconds of unexpected twists and turns through the dark. You honestly never know which direction you'll be moving next, and it feels like you're traveling much faster than you actually are. Now, the ride could use a good retracking since it's now over 45 years old, making it the oldest ride on the list, so who knows what the future holds for Space Mountain. Number 9. Staying in Magic Kingdom, we'll head into Fantasyland where you can dig 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 your way through the mines of the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. This attraction opened on May 28, 2014, completing the Fantasyland expansion. The Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is a roller coaster dark ride hybrid that offers a thrilling experience for the entire family. As you travel out of the loading station and up the first lift hill, you'll make your way through the winding paths of the Enchanted Forest before heading indoors. The coaster's train is a tilting vehicle that simulates the swaying and tipping you might expect to feel in a real minecart. Once inside the mine, you're dazzled by the twinkling jewels and impressive audio animatronics of the Seven Dwarfs. That's before you make your way up the second lift hill. You'll definitely feel the rush as you head down the largest drop and reach top speeds of up to 34 miles or 55 kilometers per hour. The ride is extremely smooth and it doesn't feel as fast as it is. With a ride time of about 2 minutes and 50 seconds, the coaster is a fair length, but you do spend just over a minute in the mine. In my opinion, it could use an extra 30 seconds to feel more like a complete experience, but it's still a great mix of something a bit more laid back with a dose of thrill. Although it's already over 6 years old, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is still one of the most popular rides at Magic Kingdom. Number 8. Heading into Frontierland, you can't help but notice the 197-foot butte set in the Monument Valley and home to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. The ride opened on November 15, 1980, making it the second roller coaster at Walt Disney World. As you step into your train in the enclosed loading station, you're about to embark on the wildest ride in the wilderness! Reaching top speeds of up to 35 miles or 56 kilometers per hour, Big Thunder Mountain takes you up three lift hills, down multiple drops, taking twists and turns through the town of Tumbleweed, all while passing some animatronics along your way on this runaway train ride. Now, Thunder Mountain is more exciting the further back in the train you are since you feel more of the momentum from the front, causing quicker accelerations down the drops. So, 
If you're looking for that extra thrill, definitely ask a cast member for the back of the train. Big Thunder Mountain never disappoints, not to mention the beauty of these scenic views. With a ride time of about 3 minutes and 20 seconds, Big Thunder Mountain is jam-packed with a great dose of coaster fun. Number 7 Let's switch gears and head to Disney's Hollywood Studios, where the Hollywood Tower Hotel is home to the next attraction going up on our list. Strategically placed at the tip of Sunset Boulevard behind the rows of palm trees, you'll find the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Arguably one of the most popular thrill rides at the resort and one of my personal favorites, the ride opened in July of 1994, and it offers you a fully immersive experience into the Twilight Zone. Set in an abandoned 1930s hotel, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror takes guests into the fifth dimension. Now make sure you're strapped in because this elevator is unlike any other you've experienced. After passing through a series of show scenes, the anticipation builds as you sense the thrill that's just around the corner. Once you head into the shaft, the elevator drops you 13 stories at speeds of up to 39 miles or 63 kilometers per hour. This is one ride you'll feel in your gut, and not only do you get a thrilling experience, but you also get a great bird's eye view of the park. Now this isn't your typical free fall attraction. Imagineers, along with the Otis Elevator Company, design cables at the bottom of the shaft that actually pull you down at speeds faster than free fall. Tower of Terror also uses randomized drop sequences that offer a variety of different drops and lifts that keep you surprised every single time. Plus, Disney recently restored many of the visual and audio effects in the drop shafts. Now, due to the pandemic, Disney is not running the pre-show. The room is being used as additional queue space, but this could change at any point in the future, and the pre-show will eventually return. The entire ride lasts about 3 minutes, so get ready to scream because you never know what kind of drops to expect on Tower of Terror. Number 6 Heading back into Frontierland at Magic Kingdom, it's a zippity doo dah day on the first water ride on the list. Splash Mountain officially opened on October 2nd, 1992, and it takes your classic log flume ride to a whole new level. At the heart, Splash Mountain is a classic Disney dark ride that features 69 audio animatronics telling the story of Br'er Rabbit's adventures to find his laughing place. Before you even enter the dark ride scenes, the outdoor scenery helps establish the world of the Br'er characters. Then once you're inside, the sets are vibrant and many catchy songs help tell the story that eventually build to the climax of the ride. Traveling up the lift hill, you crest the top as your log slowly begins to tilt forward. Before you know it, you descend down a 50-foot flume at a 45-degree angle in a mere 3 seconds, reaching top speeds of up to 40 miles or 64 kilometers per hour. You're sure to get wet. Now, don't be fooled, the big drop is the main event, but there are three other smaller dips and drops that'll prepare you for the big one. Splash Mountain has a ride time of about 10 minutes and 30 seconds, making it the longest ride on the list and a great way to cool off on a really hot day at Magic Kingdom. Now, it was recently announced that Splash Mountain would be getting rethemed to Princess and the Frog. Disney released this concept art and a brief description of the ride's storyline. With no specific dates or details released, I think we can expect Splash Mountain in its current form to live on for a couple more years before anything is done with the transformation. Number 5 Making our way back to Hollywood Studios, Toy Story Land is home to the newest coaster at Walt Disney World. Slinky Dog Dash opened with the land on June 30th, 2018, and it's become a very popular ride at the park. Now this is an exposed launch coaster, but it's not an off-the-shelf coaster. The layout, which includes two launches, was an original design for Disney, including these little camel humps, which were meant to mimic the coils and movement of a slinky. 
There's nothing off the shelf about Slinky Dog Dash. Aside from the Dash and Dodge Mega Coaster kit box that Andy picked off the shelf to build the coaster in the backyard. With many overbank turns, Slinky soars through Andy's backyard, giving you some great views of the land before reaching the second launch. As this booster kit launches you up the Camelback Hump, get ready to reach top speeds of up to 40 miles or 64 kilometers per hour. It's an extremely smooth ride, and although the coaster looks tame from watching it inside the land, it feels much faster than it looks. Now if you want a more intense experience, sit in the back, and if you want something a little more on the tame side, then the front is where you need to be. With a ride time of about 1 minute and 50 seconds, it's the perfect Disney thrill ride for the entire family. Number 4 Heading over to Disney's Animal Kingdom, the park is home to Expedition Everest, Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. The ride opened on April 7, 2006, and at the time, it held the record for being the most expensive roller coaster in the world. It recently lost that title in 2019 to Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure, which cost $300 million. Now, Expedition Everest is one of the most immersive coasters, with the track cleverly designed right into the architecture of the mountain. This coaster takes place both inside and out, but the experience begins in the queue, which sets up the story of the Legend of the Yeti. Once on board your train, you make your way into the Himalayas, arriving at the base of Mount Everest. This coaster has everything from twists and turns through caverns and a set of broken rail tracks that halt the ride. You'll plunge backwards through the mountain into a helix, giving you the sensation that you're going upside down. As you're trying to escape the Yeti, the train dives down the largest drop and reaches a top speed of 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour. With a ride time of just under 3 minutes, this is one coaster that will definitely leave you wanting more. More Disco Yeti, that is. Number 3 Over on Sunset Boulevard in Disney's Hollywood Studios, you can follow the head of this guitar until you find your way to G-Force Records, home of Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. The ride opened on July 28, 1999, and is another fully enclosed steel coaster. The experience begins with you winning some backstage passes. Wait a minute, I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? Then you need to make your way to the concert. Okay, folks, look, the show is all the way across town, but I got you a really fast car. The anticipation builds on this Vacoma launch coaster as Steven Tyler counts down the launch. Before you know it, you're going from 0 to 57 miles or 92 kilometers per hour in a quick 2.8 seconds. As you're speeding past neon street signs, most of Rock and Roller Coaster takes place in complete darkness, which definitely adds to the thrill. While you're rocking to the beat of the Aerosmith soundtrack, the ride has three inversions, two rollover loops that happen just after the launch, and one corkscrew near the end. It's the only coaster at Walt Disney World that actually goes upside down. Now, due to the pandemic, Disney is not running the pre-show. The room is being used as additional queue space, but this could change at any point in the future, and the pre-show will eventually return. Although the physical ride itself only lasts 1 minute and 22 seconds, short ride times are very typical with most traditional launch coasters. But no matter what, it's always a thrilling experience on Rock and Roller Coaster. Number 2 Get your swimsuits ready because for this next one, we're gonna get soaked on Summit Plummet at Blizzard Beach. Standing 120 feet tall, you can't help but notice the massive ski jump which just happens to be the flagship attraction. Summit Plummet opened in April of 1995 and it's one of the tallest and fastest free fall water slides in the world. Once you're at the top, be prepared to plunge down 12 stories as you reach a top speed of 60 miles or 97 kilometers per hour. For a water slide, it's pretty intense and because it's just your body against the slide, you really feel this one in your gut. 
Within about five seconds, you'll find yourself going from top to bottom, making that white water splash. Looking at it can be a bit intimidating at first, but once you take the leap, it's an extremely thrilling and fun experience. Number 1 Finishing the list off in Epcot, Future World's Test Track is the fastest Disney ride at Walt Disney World and in any Disney theme park across the world. Officially opening in March of 1999, it was the first ride that featured the slot car style ride system. The original version of Test Track used to place riders in a GM testing facility where you got to experience how prototype vehicles are safety tested. In 2012, GM shifted gears and put Chevrolet as the sponsor to give this high-velocity ride a much different look. On Test Track, you design your own Chevrolet vehicle, then get a chance to test the design through the ride's indoor and outdoor performance courses. Your journey starts off slow, but as you get going, you'll experience some pretty quick accelerations and stops through the indoor futuristic show scenes. They aren't too thrilling, but there's a lot of cool visuals, similar to Tron but not Tron, but they do prepare you for the most thrilling part of the ride. Once your car exits the show building and heads outside, prepare to race around multiple bank turns, reaching a top speed of 65 miles or 104 kilometers per hour. You definitely feel the wind in your hair and the adrenaline is pumping. With a ride time of about 5 minutes, Test Track has a little something for everyone, especially the thrill seeker. So, what's your favorite Disney World ride? Either from this list or maybe one that wasn't mentioned? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.